In one of Aesop's fables, a donkey walking through the woods finds the skin of a lion. Hunters had killed a lion and left the skin to dry in the sun. And so the donkey put on the lion's skin and was thrilled to discover that all the other animals were terrified of him. And they ran away when he showed up. Rejoicing in his newfound respect, the donkey braved his happiness, but by so doing, he gave himself away by his voice. Now, the moral of the fable was clear. Fine clothes may disguise who we really are, but unwise words will disclose a fool. Now, with today's social media, anyone can become famous by disclosing every embarrassing part of his life to the world. And yet, what's gained by that kind of entertainment? People may sit at home and laugh at the stupidity of others who hold nothing back. But in the process, they diminish themselves. And this produces a corrosive effect because it encourages people to share more and more when they have less and less to offer. We have a pandemic of people sharing their opinions without regard to um, whether or not they have anything meaningful to say. Someone said that the problem today is that those who know the least know it the loudest. Indeed, much of what is promoted as wisdom is actually anything but wisdom. Much of it is just foolishness displayed publicly. You have heard the expression, you have two ears and a mouth and use them proportionately. Almost all of us would benefit from listening more and talking less. Rather than being compelled to tell everyone we meet everything we can fit into the length of a conversation, we would do well to remember that one of wisdom's best qualities is the ability to measure our words. This is just a thought, and I'm Birger Dragget, pastor of Three Angels and Newton Seventh-day Adventist Churches in South Central Kansas. It says in Proverbs 29, verse 11, that a fool vents all his feelings, but a wise man holds them back. I would um, challenge you and myself to contemplate these words and maybe have these words as a motto during this week that we may spend more time listening to the word of God and um, also be measuring our words. Have a blessed week.